I'm here at the SEMA Automotive Show in beautiful Las Vegas, Nevada, and standing next to me is Dave Fanson from St. Charles, Missouri. And behind us is his 1971 Dodge Demon. Demon. <laughs> and basically, as you can see, this isn't originally an old vehicle. He dropped a supercharged 6.2 liter engine into it. How much horsepower does this thing have? Uh, we're 800 horsepower with a real soft tune on it. Uh, once we get it back and we dial a few things in, we'll be in the excess of 1,000 horsepower with it. All right, so tell me a bit about what inspired this. What made you want to do this project and create this car? Um, it just kind of snowballed. We, we were... We had some Hellcat motors, we were going to go out and uh, just turn some numbers and beat the car up and not really build a show car out of it. Uh, and it just kind of snowballed from one thing to another. Uh, and then in the process of buying the car and talking with the car owner that we got it from, he winds up being the uh, engineer for IHI Turbo, which makes the superchargers for the Hellcats. And at that time was sworn to secrecy on the new Demon project. So in the meantime, he's been watching our build as it is developed, and he has contacted us about two months ago and said, hey, would you guys be interested in the new Dodge Demon supercharger for your Demon project? And we went, uh, yes, please, and thank you. So. Awesome. All right, and how much of this work did you do yourself? Uh, I am hands-on with absolutely everything. Uh, me and my guys at the shop, so I got a couple guys that work with me, Frank Ellis and Mark Bennick, uh, Ken Baker, and a few other guys, uh, Dave Berry, Next Gen, uh, we got a gear star for L85E transmission, EFI wiring. So there's 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 a whole lot that goes into play. But I've been I've been in control of the whole project through from the beginning. I have to say I do love the paint job on this car. Um, what colors are these exactly? We've got different hues of green here. Um, basically, I started out with a, I wanted that Mopar factory sublime look with a black, but I didn't want that. I wanted the colors with pop. So we went ahead and developed our own colors, uh, custom mixed them, and uh, that's the end result. Right. After and hours of, uh, of playing with the colors, doing spray outs, and uh, that's our end, end color there. Right. And I can see that you did some custom work on the hood and the emblems. Do you want to tell me a bit about that? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. We start out with Next Gen. They, we took and did a 3D scan of the front of the car um, and did a one-off custom grill with that. Started out as a 300 pound piece of aluminum and then did that after the 3D scan we got the end results here of a, a one-off custom grill. The same thing with the hood vents. So coming into the hood vents we got a Hellcat hood grafted to the factory Demon hood which has again the 3D scan and then one-off aluminum hood vent pieces. Awesome. All right. Is there anything else that you think that I'm missing or that you'd like to add? Um, just the amount of man hours that, that go into making something that looks this simple but isn't simple. I mean, there there you're you're several thousand hours of man hours and into making a pro something simple, not simple. <laughs> I believe it. All right, thank you very much, right. Dave. Thank you very much.